What's good YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another video and guys today we're talking about rookie card investing and guess who we're talking about? We're talking about Mr. Giannis Antetokounmpo as per usual guys so we're talking about Giannis here um, we got a lot to talk about guys as you know Giannis won again against the Hawks um, Chris Middleton too so we're gonna take a look at Trey Young's cards, Chris Middleton's cards, and Giannis's cards, maybe even Brooke Lopez's cards. I think Brooke Lopez is a Hall of Famer, guys. He's very slept on. His career was very good. So anyways, we're going to go over it. Um, I want to hear what you guys think in the comments. Uh, pretty much, yeah. So let's get into it. So Chris Middleton. What year was he a rookie? Oh, my God. Rookie card. Prism PSA 10. Does he even have a Prism card? He does have a Prism card. I think that was the first year of Prism, possibly. Um, so we're actually about to look at what sold on Chris Middleton's end. Wow. So Prism PSA 10 just sold for 120, 120, 260. So this card's very interesting. It's up, it's down. It's up, it's down. And why is that? It's because Chris Middleton is honestly really inconsistent. Um, game one, he went six for 23, guys. That's unacceptable, but the last two games has been incredible. When Giannis, well, since Giannis is really consistent, when Giannis gets the help from Chris Middleton, they're on, oh, they're unstoppable, all right? They're literally unstoppable. So, Chris Middleton is definitely a card I will be eyeing down. Um, it looks like he was originally from the Pistons, man. I didn't even know that. So, Mr. Chris Middleton, is that the Pistons? I can't even see. not gonna show i guess so uh yeah chris middleton very very interesting card he's fluctuates so um definitely keep an eye on him if they do make the finals you will see this card shoot up i really hope they do so that's number one chris middleton's honestly been pretty good his whole career and if he gets a ring that might establish him as a hall of famer basketball hall of fame is not as hard to make as other hall of fame so next up trey young prism guys let's check out what his are selling for so okay so i see some for 340 i see some for 330 i see some for 450 so this is pretty much with every card his price is pretty similar he's still really young um it's crazy how his prism card is just gonna sell for so much because he's just that good guys trey young is the real deal i do believe in his card i do believe in how good he actually is so trey young he deserves it his price should stay around 350 even if they make the finals or not. There is a pretty high pop of Trey Young cards. This one right here sold for around 333 per. That's pretty good. That's not that's that's, that's pretty good. All PSA 10, so that's cool. Um, so next up, Trey Young's price definitely did go actually kind of did go down the last couple weeks, which is kind of weird. Um, but this is the biggest card I'm gonna talk about, and honestly, I talk about it every single day on this channel. And Giannis on tent on tent. So cool, Bo, Prism, bang! All right, we gotta do rookie. I know how to spell his name. I'm a big Giannis fan. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell Ante, Antento Kumpo. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it. Antento, Ante Tokumpo. I always put the N there. I don't know why. Okay. So I've been looking at this right. So last week his prices were around sixteen hundred when they lost Game Five to the Nets. Okay. So what happened was, this was kind of a gamble. So what happened was when they lost to the Nets, this price, guys, their price, he, his price dropped heavy. And it was honestly kind of getting me concerned because I did not think they were going to win game six and game seven. So his price took a fat dip. But now, if you look at his price now, it's up 300 bucks within the last two days. This one probably sold for around two grand, I would think. This one just sold for 19 so it's up $300, guys. $300 come up on the Giannis. And since he did do good every single game he's played, it's just how it's going to be. So Giannis is just going to continuously rise, in my opinion, either if they win it or not. Even if they make the finals, his price, his lowest should be at least, it's his lowest price should be $1,700. I'm trying to get mine before it's too late. Um, a couple weeks ago, it was at like $3,500, guys. Um, let's see. This purple one's a low pop as fuck. It's at 3K. That was a good that was a good buy, in my opinion. Any low pop Prism Giannis is what you want to buy. Because there's not a lot of them. Um, some sold for 1800 I know one sold for like 3500 Look at this. 
June 16th, guys, selling for 1300 boys. That is an absolute steal, 1500 1400 This card has went up 500 bucks in a week. So if you did make that investment, congratulations to you. I know uh, some sold for 3500 not too long ago, but uh, keep your eyes on him. I'm definitely trying to buy one before, honestly, maybe off-season. I don't know. I, I got to get my hands on one sooner or later. I, I can't miss out anymore. But I'm watching like most of these cards, guys. I really am. I'm really trying to get one. This one has eight hours left. If I can get this for fifteen hundred, I'm gonna be very happy. I don't think he go under fifteen hundred, but uh, I'm definitely paying attention to this. So, uh, anyways, that's all we got for the vid. Hope you guys enjoyed, man. Stay tuned for more content. We're gonna get Giannis very soon. Giannis PSA ten to the PC, eighteen hundred bucks. Probably one of the best eighteen hundred dollars I will ever spend. But anyways, that is all we got for the vid. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Peace.